Hi, I'm Ron Heinlein, and I'm the owner and president of DTFFootwear.com. I'm going to introduce you to one of our new tennis shoes for women. This is style number 327. Very proud of this because what this is, but first of all, before I get into detail, I want to show you something. I want to take the insert out of this shoe and show you exactly what you'll get. This doesn't have style or sample doesn't have the filler, but it normally will have one. And that's what we call a spacer or a filler from there. But I'll get to that in just a second. This is only a seven ounce weight, okay? And a lot of tennis shoes claim seven ounces are great, and it is great. But, and I'll show you the disadvantage in just a second. This is all stretch material so it molds right to your foot conform if you've got irritation in the toes you can see i can raise that up it'll conform or it won't irritate the uh, hammer toes or the bunions or anything else from that point point from there it's got a great toe, toe box raised toe box it's got a reinforced heel counter has an extensions to the bottoms and the what i mean from that if of a, a 5e upper that you need and width wise it's on a 6e bottom if it's a 7e upper it's on a 8e bottom okay so it gives you true extension so the wider your foot is you need more room there's no foot hangover okay and it also allow you, even with the raised toe box it'll allow you to have more toe space and wiggle room from from there tree torn cloth lining purpose of that it has the breathability it has the absorbent factor keeps your feet dry but it also adds a padded cushion to it that's unique you can't find in leather lining that we have in a lot of our casual and dress shoes for men and women but this particular tree torn has a little more padding padded tongue padded collar uh, elasticized here from, from that point uh, and again, we can make this, if it's a 5E or 7E or a 3E, we can make this in a 9E or a 10E or 14E in women's if needed. 3 to 1 combination means it's 3 widths narrower here in the heel than it is in the ball width. We give you the maximum room here and contour this to where it fits your foot. Women normally have a lot narrower heel con concept than what men do. And so this is what we created a three to one. Strongest midsection in the shoe business, strongest heel counter in the shoe business. And everybody asked me, Ron, why do I need a strong midsection? Why do I need a strong counter for? Is that I want to cut the bilateral movement out. I love these people that show the tennis shoes that they bend in half or a, or a basically a comfort shoe. And that means you're moving this way, bilateral, and you're moving forward. We all move forward. But the bilaterals we want to cut out. If this is a normal athletic, and remember we're a therapeutic, so we're great for diabetics because we're seamless. We have whiffs that no one else does, four A's all the way to 14 E whiffs, and we can basically do it in a number of our shoes, convert these into a 9E, 10E, and a 14E width from that. But if you if this was a normal athletic shoe, you walk two miles you basically put almost double the wear and tear up to four miles of wear and tear and at any age the more wear and tear you put on the foot that you just feel it you there's no such thing as happy feet because if your feet hurt you hurt all over you wear ours and for two and a half miles if that's the distance you went you've put two and a half miles of wear and tear on your foot and that is it the other feature that's phenomenal, and you've seen me take this out, is that this is one of the best over-the-counter inserts in the country. You get three sets of these free at $240 value. And you see the raised arch to this. You see the cradle heel to this. And that cradle heel gives you the added sport. A great T-bar. This is plasticil that generates circulation. If you're a diabetic or have major swelling, it's mandatory that you have this because it keeps the circulation, the disease, or the swelling in check from that, at that point. Great, great uh, insert. Then you add the spacer. Okay, now remember when you pull both of these out, you put this back in. If this case you put this insert in and it's still a little snug, then put the thinner insert in there. Okay, and then wear it for two or three weeks from there. And then after you're done, take this out and put this back in. And you'll be in great shape. You've, broke the shoe, you've broken the shoe in, it's conformed to your foot, it works real well. One thing that I'm why I've done the video as well, if you are going to use the spacers, don't put it on top. 
I want it underneath. I do not want this to block or uh, this will not allow the insert to conform to your foot. The reason why we made these is a couple of reasons. L uh, foot discrepancy. A lot of men and women have one foot different than the other size wise. We can tighten this up with no problem. This is the right this can be left. It can go either way from there. Or if you've worn these for about four to six months, then in turn, a fine foot gets a little bit loose, use the spacers. You need more, I'll get you more. And there won't be a charge for that. And that's what it's all about. So I want you to understand the lightweight, like a feather with support that normally happens in no uh, athletic footwear and the inserts and the spacers to understand why we're so unique.